getting that water in though. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen and this is my channel. Today is Thursday, February the 7th, 2019 and I'm going to be talking about my second completed day of 24-hour fasting, as well as my weight loss update and where I'm at with that. So first of all, I'm going to talk about my second 24-hour fasting day. Like I said, this was, I started on Tuesday evening. It was just before 8 o'clock. I, I started and I finished last night at just before 8 o'clock. I think, actually, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think I only made it 23 and a half hours, not the full 24, but it was definitely over 23 hours and probably not quite 24. So what I experienced most on my second day of 24-hour fasting was more of the physical part of fasting, and I was okay. I had a lot of energy when I got up. I only had a couple hours of sleep the night before and into yesterday morning so and then I was dealing with the noisy neighbor situation I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing me talk about that but that's just a contributed con something that is contributed to my day and how things went so I have to mention it um, so I started the day with uh, with a good amount of energy I decided it was well I didn't decide it was just cleaning day and I had to clean that's the laundry basket sitting back there I did three loads of laundry last night um, but I started the day pretty well but the guy was being really noisy so I put on my music really loud to try to drown him out and the music gave me it gave me some energy and I cleaned a good bit I got my vacuuming done of course you wouldn't know it now because I have stuff sitting all around again um, but anyhow, back on track, I seemed to have pretty much a lot of energy till around noon, and then I felt myself starting to drain on energy and get low and not really want to do anything. And then around 2.30 is when I started struggling with hunger pangs. I didn't notice too much hunger on Monday. I was a little bit hungry, but... Yesterday was really tough starting around 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. My stomach started growling and then I started thinking about what I was going to eat after I finished my fast. I even started contemplating ordering a pizza to have it here at 8 o'clock after I was finished my fast because I was like, well, I fasted all day. I could just eat a pizza. No, you can't, Jennifer. No, you just can't. But that's the thoughts that go through my head, just being honest with you guys. So, as the time kept getting closer, I kept texting my neighbor, my sweet mama, and I kept telling her, oh, mama, I'm hungry. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. And she's not for long-term fasting. So she was like, you know what I think of that? She goes, just drink more water. So I drank more water, and I started then feeling kind of grouchy. Um, I think that was the hangry part of my day. And then I noticed my body started feeling a little bit different. Like, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I felt kind of like detached from my body. Like, my body was kind of like airy and kind of like I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I felt kind of like my soul was detached from my body, if that makes any sense, if anybody understands that. And I felt like kind of light and airy. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, and then I started kind of getting paranoid about that, wondering why I was feeling that way. And then I started getting a slight headache after that. I was able to distract myself. I went out downstairs and spent time with some people downstairs and talked to some people and then by around seven I was so ready to eat and so I was sane and I did not order pizza 
I made my, I had my chicken fajita strips, the peppers and the chicken that I prepped, as well as broccoli slaw last night. So that was around 7.30ish that I had that. It was between 7.30 and 8 o'clock that I ate because I was like, I just, I, I have to eat. I just, I have to. <laughs> so I think all in all it went pretty well. I'm a little disappointed that I couldn't have just hang, hung in there for another half an hour. I think I probably could have if I just sucked it up. I think lasting almost 24 hours over 23 is is good. Um, I'm definitely going to do it again on Friday. I really wanted to experience more of the spiritual side of fasting. I didn't really feel anything different spiritually. Um, although I did feel when I did eat, I felt like I appreciated the food a lot more as I was eating it. It tasted really good. I think a lot of times not just morbidly obese people, but we as a society take food for granted and we know that the food is there and we're always picking at something or eating. So food just gets kind of dull tasting to us. It's just another burger or it's just another hot dog or it's just another whatever. Even if we are eating healthy, our food is in abundance to us and most of us and we're blessed to have enough food so we really lose the taste of food so being without food for for almost 24 hours when I did eat it again and that, I know that's not a long stretch of period a long stretch of time but it was enough time to make me very grateful and it made the food like I said it made the food taste oh, so much better and I, I actually felt myself being grateful for it. So that is a benefit that I never imagined coming with the fasting at all. I never thought about that. So that's what I experienced on my second day of 24 hour fasting. Okay, so there's actually a couple more things I wanted to talk about about intermittent fasting. So like I started, this is a question I have that I probably could find if I Googled it, but a lot of you guys are more knowledgeable in fasting and intermittent fasting than I am. So I'm just going to put it out there and if nobody knows then I will Google but I would appreciate your input. Um, so when I do a 24 hour fast, like I'll start at 8 p.m. Say like when I started on Tuesday evening. I started around 8 and then I ended at 8 p.m. on Wednesday evening. And then that's when I had my meal. So today starting today how do i do i go back to timing when i finished that meal last night so like approximately nine o'clock do i stay fast from do my 16 hour fast again today or do i just eat normally today and just do the 324s and not do a 16. does that make sense i confuse people very easily i'm confused myself so i don't know but i did notice too as well also, when I woke up this morning, I was really, really hungry. And I don't know if that was just a coincidence of being hungry this morning, because as we all know, some days you're more hungry than others. Or if that was like, because I didn't eat a lot of food yesterday, um, I need to put in my, my fitness pal that meal that I did had because I didn't track it. But I will do that it will be in there before you guys see this um, so I did eat breakfast this morning actually I ate breakfast at 6 o'clock this morning because I was very hungry which I rarely ever eat breakfast that early usually my first meal isn't until around 10 10 30 11 o'clock in the morning also oh no there is no also that's it so like okay so those are my two questions um, or my one question do, I'm so confused. I'm confusing myself. Do I just do the fasting the three days of 24 and then eat normally on the other days? Or do I do the 24, the three days of 24 and the 16 the other days? I don't know. I need advice. Let me know. All right, so let's talk about my weight loss portion of the video, my weight loss update. I know a lot of people have been asking and 
I've been kind of scared to because I didn't want to weigh myself and whatever the number I thought in my head wouldn't have been enough and I didn't want to disappoint myself or I was just nervous and I kind of put it off but it kind of worked out well because the last time I actually weighed I didn't tell you guys my weight then but the last time I actually weighed was January the 7th and today is February the 7th so it actually worked out really well I didn't plan it I did plan on having body shots when I did my first weigh-in of 2019 but I don't have those yet I will do those soon I'm kind of dreading that as well because I really don't want to see my body I don't like looking at my body I'm not happy with my body so it's not something that I want to look at but it is something that it's important to document where I've started where I'm going etc so this is kind of confusing so I have a cheat sheet I wrote it down so I can explain it and we can all follow along so my last weigh-in video, or the last time I weighed in and made a video about it, was on December the 19th, and then I was 533.4, and then Christmas happened, and the week after Christmas happened, and I think we all remember the video, well, maybe we don't all remember, but the video of what I really eat in a day, how I was eating a lot of food, and the cookies and the banana bread and a lot of other cookies that happened and some pizza that happened and some Chinese that happened. I'm sure you get my, my drift there. So I didn't weigh any more for the month of December because I knew what was going to happen when I did weigh and I just didn't want to face up face that. So on January the 1st I did weigh however and Sadly enough, I weighed in at 400, or no, not 400, I wish, 548.4 pounds, which was a 15 pound gain. And it wasn't unexpected because I was eating horribly. I was eating a lot of food and I was eating sugary, snackies, all kinds of Christmas goodies. And I had told myself that my goal for Christmas was to just not gain. Well, that didn't work out. And now I can see the part of denial of that and how that should not be someone's goal. Well, I can't talk for anybody else. I can just talk for myself. That should not have been my goal. I should have just stayed on track. But I can't go back. I can only move forward. So anyhow, on January the 1st, I weighed in at 548.4. Then I weighed again on January the 7th, and on January the 7th, I weighed 541.1, which was a 7.3 pound loss for that week. And then I had not weighed any more in the month of January, and I hadn't weighed in the beginning of February. This is the first time this morning that I weighed, and I am very excited. I weighed myself first thing this morning because I heard that is the best time to weigh yourself before the day starts because you s bloat or whatever during the day. I don't know if that's true, but I usually always... Really? I'm trying to do a weigh in here. Don't steal my thunder motorcycle. Um, so I weighed first thing this morning and I was just so happy. I was texting everyone and messaging everyone and telling everyone my good news and so I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm going to insert a picture here of how much I weigh. So as you can see by that picture, I weighed in at 517.8, which is a 23.3 pound loss since January the 7th. I am just so ecstatic and so excited um I didn't know how much I was going to lose I knew I was on the right track and I could tell a difference in my body I could tell the way clothes are fitting I could tell the way I move my body it's not I know that's not a huge amount of weight but it's enough to be able to feel the difference a slight difference and I am so happy about that um also a little scared too because I am now just 17 pounds away from being able to have an MRI 
and probably start radiation treatment for my uterine cancer. I, I'm assuming that will be me and my doctor discussed that when I got to around the 500 to pound mark. So I'm assuming that will still be the course of treatment. I don't know. I don't see her until the end of February. So I'm not exactly sure if that will be the treatment, but that's what we spoke about. That makes me a little bit nervous. Don't know what to expect with that, but I do want to get on with things and I do want to I would like to wait until I got under enough, under the 465 pound mark so I could just have surgery, but I don't know. I trust my doctor and whatever she thinks is best, I will go with whatever she thinks. But I am just excited to be actually losing and being successful at it this time and not self-sabotaging myself as I always do. I did, however, have a moment of when I saw the weight, one of the first things I thought was, yes, I can have a pizza tonight and celebrate. Obviously, no, again, um, that's not going to happen because that's just counterproductive. But just letting you guys know in the brain of a compulsive overeater and a person who struggles with addiction of food, that was one of my first thoughts. And probably will always be my first thought is to celebrate with food but I'm not going to do that. I'm on a really good path and a really good track and I'm not going to break that now. So that's where I am for February the 7th. I don't know if I'm going to do weekly weigh-ins. I haven't decided yet. Um, I don't want to get some preconceived notion of what number I should be or how much I should be losing in my head and then get discouraged. This has really helped me, encouraged me to keep moving forward, and I'm glad that it was what it was, and I'm not disappointed. I'm very happy about that. I don't know, I don't really know how much I should be losing in a month, but I feel that 23 pounds is a good amount to lose in a month, I think. Um, so I'm very happy about it. So that's where I am for right now. Like I said, I'm not sure what I will decide, if it'll be another month or another next week. I haven't decided, but when I decide, you guys will be the first to know. Okay, I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you have a good day. Bye.